Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. Hey, I'm Candace. Good morning. Welcome back. Well, the slowdown has started. Um, what do you mean? It's Friday morning, and what did we not do today? Oh, we. Oh, you mean it's slow down as far as sourcing? Yes. Yeah, we're not going to garage sales. Well, we wanted to, and I sat down to plan our route, and um, there was only two sales. Yep. So we're like, nah, forget it. And they were pretty far apart. It's not like they were close to us or we would have gone, you know. So, yeah, we didn't do any sourcing today. Hoping we can get some done tomorrow, although it's supposed to rain. Yeah, it's probably it, probably not going to happen tomorrow either. So and it's, it's, it's going to be a state sale kind of weekend again. And it's probably not going to happen next weekend because of Christmas. Right. And the weekend after that and probably all the way through New Year's. Yep. Maybe after New Year's, but probably by then it'll be too cold. I need the Facebook Marketplace gods to shine down on me. No, we don't. We need to list our, our back stock, our death pile. I know. We do. That, that's, that's what we need we to do. We do have death piles. that we. That's usually our plan for the winter is clear stuff out. So Yeah, it'll be a couple of months of pull and list from death pile supplemented by occasional estate sale finds. Yes. That's kind of the... Yeah. The plan. That's and if plan. if we run out of back stock, we'll go find some other We'll go on vacation. We'll go on vacation. Yeah. I was thinking <laughs> we'll maybe go camping. <laughs> I was thinking maybe we'd go buy a storage unit or something. I don't know. But who knows? That's far down the line. We, that's yeah. a lot of listing between uh now and then. Yeah. So, so uh, we do need to get started on orders because I have to go pick Molly up from school again. Um <laughs> Well, let's just call her an Uber then. I, I wish I could. She was like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, okay, we're going to go ahead and get started. We sold a hat, first item. Okay. It's a hat. Yeah, we did. Uh, New Orleans Saints Champions 2000. It's white. It's funny, we have two of those in our store. Um, a little fuzz on it. Oh, I didn't realize it was new. Is that, that it? Yeah, that is it. 2000 Western... NFC yep. division, blah, blah. 20, NFC West. $26.24 for that. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's a lot for one of those kind of hats. I guess it's because it's new with tags. Yeah. All right, let me put these up real quick. Okay, a lot of four chess books on Six Charlie. Yeah, I was happy to see this sell. These, uh, these weren't the greatest buy in the world, but I mean, hell, I only had $2 into them. Hard to make a mistake when you're buying stuff for 50 cents. Yeah. Except for your time, of course. Um, then they ended up selling for $20.69. I'm happy with that. That's $2 into that. And um, books are so easy to list. They don't take any time. I mean, how long do I spend? I, I didn't spend five minutes on this. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. Yep. That's fine. Uh, seven, a lot of seven cookbooks now. Okay. I don't know what your skew is. Uh, I just kind of threw them up here. It says JLCBL. <laughs> yeah, there's a box that says that right here. Okay. Uh, I'm really glad they sold because I didn't have I didn't have uh, plans in case they didn't sell for a long time. And yeah, that was gonna take up a lot of. It's all um, junior league cookbooks that I had looked up, and they weren't worth listing on their own, so they got lotted up. Uh, $34.99. Now, the box isn't going to ship quite this big. I'd resize it down probably yeah. to like right here or something like that. Yeah. Five Foxtrot uh, Royal Albert Enamel Colander. On Five fro Foxtrot? Yeah. wonder which side. I know what it looks like, I think. I think it's going to be on the other side, though. Take a look. Well, I'm not going to be able to get to it from over here. Not after I piled all this junk in front. All right, hang on. All right, Candace said she saw it. Let's let's see what she's got. Ah, oh, that thing's kind of big. It is. It's got dust in it, too. Okay. <laughs> Man, I didn't know it was going to be quite that big. Do you know where we bought that? I don't have a clue where we bought that. We bought that on a camping trip. <laughs> We went camping in um, Mississippi on the Gulf Coast and went to estate sales on um, the on some, No, we went to garage sales on a Saturday morning and hit an estate sale, and that was. Our I day. swear I don't remember that at all. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Um, it sold for forty dollars. Yep. Uh, we sold one of those. I think this is 
we have two of these left. They were stragglers that were unlisted somehow. So I relisted them a couple of months ago. It's those uh, Madonna lithograph prints from Switzerland. They're in the binder on 2B. This is number three. Let's see which binder they're in. We had, I remember when I got these, I bought these from God. Is this the right one? Yeah. I bought these from God. I must have had like what, 50 of them or something. Yeah, so I was looking for a binder to put stuff in and I pulled them. I saw those in there and I'm like, I thought we sold all of these. Yeah, I don't know how they. So how they were unlisted. Which one is it again? It's uh, three. Three? Yeah. So yeah, it sold for $15. Okay. Yeah, these these sold really well. Yeah. They you did. just listed that, you said? Yeah, a couple of months ago. Oh, a couple months. Yeah. Okay. That, right. It's odd, though. Um, yesterday, I have it cross-listed on Etsy, or I did, and yesterday, somebody messaged me about that same exact one, um, wanting a discount, and I told them, yeah, and they never got back to me, and then somebody on eBay bought it, so mm. it's weird. Alrighty, what's next? Flatware drawer. Who? Flatware? Yeah. Set of four Rada uh, knives. $26.99. Okay. There's actually four in here because yep. I pulled the other four the other day. Yep. And uh, if y'all don't remember, I paid $2 per knife for these. So we have $8 into a $27 sale. Uh, we sold the last dog tent, which is funny because you just mentioned it yesterday. Yesterday, I said, man, what's wrong with this dog tent? It won't sell because the other three sold super quick. But now, they're all gone. Actually, the, the stuff we got that like from your $25 pet buy, we haven't sold any of the fish stuff yet. No, not, not even any entrance. But the dog stuff you got from that has done well. Yeah. Uh, that one sold for $24.99. We had another red line car on auction that ended, and um, it's in the smalls drawer. It's a little blue Maverick. Yeah, this guy with the spoiler on him. Yep, it ended up going for $46. And then the last item we're pulling is on 6 Delta. It's a hack slash omnibus, volume 4. 6 Delta? Yep. Hack slash omnibus four this is the one where one of these books was worth a, a pretty good pretty good bit of money right not that one no yeah i know not the, not yeah. the yeah that one's over 12. right but didn't one of them sell for like 30 or something something like that yeah yeah all okay. right that's everything all right i'm gonna get this stuff packed up ready to go all right got all those guys packed took about an hour i guess something like that i don't mm -hmm. know and we had another order come in, so we're going to go ahead and pull it, get it packed uh, before the courier shows up. Yeah, they were asking if we could get it out by Monday, so we'll yeah. go ahead and get it out now. I but, uh, mean, we're, we're down to the wire. It's really like a week's shipping I, days before Christmas. Right. I mean, I'm not going to... Pretty much anything else that comes in today, I don't think I'm going to pack it. Yeah, we're not guaranteeing anything by Christmas at this point. No, unless they well, we never pay, were. Pay to overnight it or something. Well, we never were. <laughs> yeah. And I, I don't like overnight and stuff. Yeah. Okay, so we sold the uh, Deluxe Scrabble. It's on one Charlie. Yeah. I mean, I, this probably is not a gift, I would imagine. They probably just want to play it. All right. I listed this guy yesterday. It was complete. Yeah. Uh, and it had that little extra sealed bag of tiles in it. What'd you do with those? I listed them. For what, like 10 bucks? Nine bucks. Yeah. I mean, I don't again like we don't go out looking for things like that but when they fall in our hands we're gonna list them i'll list it you know yeah. i'll make make five dollars or whatever whatever yeah. you know so that's sold for 27.99 yeah the the box is is pretty beat on the outside but the contents were really in great condition yeah so all right let me get this guy packed okay all packages are out and ready for pickup I pulled up, uh, I went and looked at the comments, which Candace usually does that. I, for some reason, I've sat down and did it. Yeah. Um, and I pulled out three questions from the last video that I wanted to talk about. Okay. Um, first one is from 10 Ben Men 1521. Hi, Lonnie and Candace. Do you ever get this case? I sold one pair of brand new Hoka for $120, tennis shoes. 
The buyer, right after received the shoes, opened return case. He is saying item does not match description. One pair is 11 and one is a size 11 and a half. He wanted to return the unmatched pairs. I checked my picture listed. Unfortunately, I only took one tongue of one left shoe size 11, so I don't see the other shoe picture. Mm. He took pictures of the shoes he received. Shows one is 11, one 11 and a half. I'm 100% my shoes are match pair size 11 because I bought at the store and checked it. What would you do in this case? I don't think eBay's on my side and looks like he intended to switch the shoes when he bought it at first. Huge lesson for eBay seller. Um, yeah, you know, I never thought about that, about taking a picture of the sizing on that, both. That's, that's exactly why I put that question up there. Yeah, it never occurred to me. Because um, we normally don't. I normally don't. don't. We always just do one picture. So from now on, I will. And unfortunately, I think eBay is going to side with yeah. them. Yeah. You know, because you have can, no proof. All, all, because, yeah, as far as uh, everything else, mm -hmm. like there is no lie detector test. You say you're 100% sure. Um, and I I, I, know, I understand what you mean when you say you're 100% and sure. You, you probably are. And you probably mm, are correct. It, no. It, it, it could be a case I, of I challenge I challenge I challenge the premise that someone can be a hundred percent sure of of most things that aren't like right in front of them uh -huh. I've made too many dumb dumb mistakes yeah. that make no sense that I probably would have claimed I was a hundred percent sure of and then it I was wrong. Like that's happened too many times. But it could be a case of absolutely. the buyer switching out. Absolutely. Either way, it's going to be in the favor of the buyer. Unfortunately. Absolutely, it could. Yeah. And I, if I had to guess, like if you may, if you put like I don't know, I don't know the person that that left this comment at all mm -hmm. from anybody. I don't know them any more than I do the the person that bought the shoes from them. If I had to put it like just reading this, if I had to put a meter like a if I had to put a percentage on it. I'd say the seller is is an eighty percent chance, in my opinion, just based on what I see, eighty percent chance the seller is right, and um, the the customer is trying to do some kind of switch move or something. Yeah. But I I do I do submit that it is also possible you thought it was they were both eleven and maybe you were careless and didn't read it right or something. Who knows? Yeah. But yeah. I the reason the whole reason I put this question up there is for everyone to see it um uh, and to start taking pictures of both tongue of yes. both both size tags. Man, it's so bad. Like you have to do so much now to cover yourself because there's so many dishonest people out there now. It's like yeah. and the yeah. more we probably don't see those kind of scams near, quite as much because most of the shoes we sell um are more in like lower value 25 30 40 dollar range yeah. sometimes even a little cheaper yeah but yeah i think the the more the higher value the shoes are the more people are well, willing the thing if they are doing a switch thing they would have to have two pairs uh -huh. two different sizes yeah right yeah and you know what as as ridiculous as that sounds um, i believe it would happen it, it well is that's what i was gonna say <laughs> as ridiculous as that sounds uh we could have done the same thing because we bought those expensive red wing boots mm -hmm. and we didn't realize we bought two different sizes and we we could have if we were dishonest horrible people we could have bought a brand new pair of those boots from someone else and then did the old switcheroo and claim they sent us the wrong size and send them back and now we have a complete right you know mm -hmm. so yeah, as re as outlandish as that sounds to pull a scam like that, uh, we really we possible. we were in that position where we could have carried something like that out. Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, lesson learned. Both take two pictures. Yeah, both size tags. <laughs> um, okay. And maybe even side by side if it's if it's feasible. Yeah. To show you're not taking the picture of the same size tag twice. twice. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, next question, flipping the 4027. Love the videos and thank you for all the help. Question, when you find seasonal items out of season, do you list them right away or wait? Does it also depend on comps, sell through rate, or just buy feel? Thanks again. I see this question so many times and I don't, I don't, I don't understand the other side of it. We list stuff right away, see whether it's seasonal or not. And I don't understand the reason for waiting because we sell seasonal stuff year round. I, I can give one 
case, I always try and play devil's advocate. Yeah, I know. I wanna, I, I, I've tried to figure this out and I can't. Because I agree with you. I think you should just go ahead and list it right away. Mm -hmm. Because the speed at which sometimes we work, um, like like in eBay, in eBay time, like when do you want to have your holiday stuff listed by anyways? I would, I would say July. October at the late, you know what I mean? Like yeah. if you were going to list for people to buy. So October. So if you listed in July, are you really that early? Right. You know? So the, the only thing I was thinking is that if you did, if you were a person that thought that, okay, I should list my seasonal stuff. Um, I should list my seasonal stuff during that buying season. I could see where listings do better if they're fresher. Fresh, yep. You know what I mean? Yep. I really think that. So that's the only, like, if a listing has been up for six months and eBay has deemed it a loser. It's not going to kind of push. It might not sale. get the same amount of exposure even when the season changes, right? Yeah. Yeah. And the other case is if you have a ton of unlisted inventory and you have and you can only list so much right then you could prioritize by when the season is that would be the other time or if you have limited space for to store your your listings right but yeah. barring that yeah I, I mean we don't really pay attention to that no i mean like the nutcrackers we went ahead and, and um the, they were kind of slow sellers and definitely sold a lot more in fourth quarter but um we had them listed when or in the like, spring like march yeah yeah the, the nut the nutcrackers were I, I think for the most part a seasonal listing yeah not necessarily but they are christmasy they're not that's Christ when people would like to display them right at christmas yeah so and it didn't seem to affect our performance no like we haven't it sold one discouraging and it was tempting to really slash the prices but right. i kept telling lonnie i'm like we need to wait for fourth quarter that's when they're gonna i wait. wasn't like no, I know. We were just in conversations, you know, right. whenever they were slow at first. So, um, yeah. C Candace was Candace was steadfast that, you yeah. know, like she would let me go down 10% and that's it. Yeah. And we're kind of still there. We haven't, like, we're, we're kind of discussing, you know, okay, we only got like 20 left or whatever. Maybe we should do a 25% off sale on those. And I, I kind of lean towards that. Yeah. I, I don't want to wait another year. On yeah, those. maybe like um, and maybe towards the end of next week, start slashing, right? Like, sending out offers and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good question. Um, next question is BMW's treasures. I watch y'all all the time. Have learned a few tricks of the trade with your box resizing tools, etc. I have a question. Since you seem to have the same carrier daily, can you tell me if you will be giving her a Christmas gift and what you will do? I had six months of disaster after moving to Savannah and post office, postal pickups. They constantly skipped me. I fought with them, chased them down through the neighborhood, trying to get them to stop. Finally got a permanent guy now for the last six months, and he is wonderful. I just don't know what to do for him for a Christmas. Thank you. Okay, so, um, yeah, we, we've had the same experience in the past with not having a, a regular carrier, and they're skipping pickups and all that stuff and you were having to go to the post and office i was having day. and I, I actually for over a, for probably a couple of years i went to the post office every day and that sucked so bad uh but yeah we have a we do have a good carrier now and um and on her day off her replacement her pre is the same woman and she's awesome too yes like we are so fortunate like for every day we get a we know we're going to get a pickup yeah so yeah um this will be, I think, our third year with this carrier. Yeah. And yeah, the we 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 do give her. Uh, what we choose to give her is just a gift certificate to a restaurant. A gift card, yeah. Uh, like a gift card yeah. to a local restaurant. You know, just to. My thinking there is. Um, everybody eats. Everybody like I I like <laughs> like I appreciate like doesn't a meal taste better when you're not paying for it? Yeah, and you know like. If you give them candy or something, they may have allergies you don't know about, or they may not like that thing. Right. If you, and of course, don't go like, don't give them like sushi or something like that. It needs to be something where. Unless you a, know they like it. Right. Yeah. There has to be a good selection. So there will be something at least that they like. 
And for her repl her replacement on her days off, she's so good. We're giving her a little something too. Yeah, so, I'm not uh, going to tell you how much or anything yeah, we're like not that. Going to discuss that. There, there are guidelines. Uh, USPS has guidelines on the value of the gifts and things like that. And I'm pretty sure they can't accept cash, right? I don't know. If, I don't know. Yeah. Or there might be a limit to it. I don't know. Yeah. But that. But you know, ultimately. Um, that's between you and your carrier yeah in my opinion so but i don't want to give you know yeah we we give we give our carriers uh gifts uh it's not like a bunch like it's not like oh wow this is life-changing i could take the week off <laughs> right but it is a it's a symbol of our appreciation and we have done like our carriers all like we we have done like favors and stuff out you know for our, yeah. our carrier we, one, we have a good relationship one day she rolled up and we just did this big hba buy and we're like go in those boxes get what you want right so yeah yeah we, we, and there's stuff like that and one day her she was stuck um she backed up into some mud or something and she was stuck and she texted me and uh she said hey i have a i have a tow rope I have a tow strap. Yeah. Can you come pull me out real quick? And I drove, it was only like five minutes down the road. I drove down there, pulled her out. You know, like we have a lot of little things like that. Yeah. And she's very, and she's, she's willing to go above and beyond. Um, Hey, if you, if you have, if you need more time, I could come back in an hour or two. Yeah. And you, uh, I try to always say no to that because I'm not trying to impact her work day like that. Right. But we have a great relationship. And yes, we do give her um, something at Christmas to show our appreciation. Yeah. So. That's Is that it? That's it. That's it. Okay. Back to work. All right. We made uh we made one really good sale that we're probably not going to talk to y'all about until Monday, but then we made another good sale um just that, a minute ago it, it may potentially be a christmas gift right it's after two it's after two o'clock right now and carrier still hasn't come which has been kind of uh that's been the norm since thanksgiving and it it works out uh actually yeah. i like the later pickup times mm -hmm. i wish she was this late every day i'm sure she doesn't no <laughs> she doesn't but like nor like when it's not holiday time Usually she's here around noonish. Noon between noon and two, depending on what day of the week it is. Yeah, but then here lately she's been like three thirty, four o'clock. Right. Which is that's great. It gives yeah. us more time, flexibility. If something comes in, then we can get it out that day. Uh, especially this item, it potentially could be a Christmas gift. It probably is. Yeah. So um, we're gonna go ahead and pull it. It's on Five Bravo. It's a Peter Rabbit three-piece nursery set by Wedgwood. Yeah, five Bravo. And it is Friday. If this was like, if this was yesterday, I might not, might yeah. not have. Otherwise it would have to wait till Monday. So yeah, right. it's gonna, it's gonna get shipped, uh, packed up today and it should be an easy pack cause it's already packed in that box. Right, right. Um, that's all for $29.99. And just to, just to be perfectly clear, that does not mean I'm gonna put a label on this box. That just means like no, it's, it's not, already protected. It's got like styrofoam. Amazon. <laughs> no, Amazon might. <laughs> all right. And while I'm doing, while I'm packing that, Look how nice this silverware looks. Yeah, so this is, uh, it's silver plate. It's called extra plate. I guess it has a little thicker layer of silver it on it. It looks nice. I don't know if it's coming across on the camera. I haven't taken a picture. There are some pieces that have, like, these two knives have, like, like through the silver corrosion, you know, yeah. so it left marks. Um, and there are spots on the stainless steel, which somebody probably could get out. I just thought... Anyway, I have service for 12, and then I had extra, 12 extra teaspoons. So I guess I'll just list those by themselves. Yep. And, um, oh man, all these, see all these little dessert spoons? Oh, okay. They have corrosion, like, in there, like, bad. Oh. I don't know if the camera can pick it up. I don't up. even get, like, man, once, once I came out with stainless. Yeah, well, this is from, like, early uh, 20th century, like. So stainless maybe. didn't exist yet. Uh, it did. did it? it did because the the knives are. Oh yeah, um, that part. The knives are always stainless if they're silver. Right. Um, but I guess this was just a status thing, you know. Oh, yeah. My... I mean, it is. It looks cool, especially when it's all shined up and stuff. But as far as like what I want to eat with. Yeah. Just so nice. Nice, high-quality stainless steel is good for yeah, me. Yeah, the silver plate it scratches easily. It of course tarnishes, and it, yeah. So, okay. um, anyway, I, 
it came in a, a flatware case, which I'm not going to, it was gross. Like, it was like the fabric in there was kind of stained up, so I threw it away. I'm not going to list that with it. So I think I should be able to get about $100 for these. Um, and then I, maybe a little extra for those spoons. And then, yeah, about separate. $20 for these spoons. So $120 in all. And um, if they were in a little better shape, I could probably bump it up to $125. Okay. But I do have, like, some flaws on some of them, so... No, but I, I'd say overall they're pretty nice, though. They are, especially considering their age. Yeah. And and there's a lot. Like, service for 12, and then all of this is serving pieces. You know, it's a nice set. Oh, oh, and you have all the pieces, too? Uh, yeah, well, I mean, not, they made more serving I pieces. I mean the spoons and forks. Oh, and, yeah, there's 12 of e yeah. everything. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get uh, Peter Rabbit packed up over here. Okay, uh, well, I just got finished doing a little YouTube work, and today I packed, like, not a ton of orders. <laughs> I'm like, where is the day gone? We haven't done anything. <laughs> I've, I've packed not a whole lot of orders, and then we did a little filming, yep. about 25 minutes of filming, and I edited video and I don't know what else I've done today, which I haven't done anything. I haven't listed a single thing today. We're, we're both just like not a thing. We're not feeling it today, like no. Usually I'm like really amped up and ready to go, and I was not today. I just was not. I only did two listings. Now one of them took me probably about an hour, right? How long did I work on the freaking? Flatware? Oh man, the flatware, yeah. So y'all, okay. We have our trifold bo boards, and I laid it out here. I used the white one. I got two lights going, right? Got all my pictures taken. Got to put them on the computer. They're horrible. Good. Why don't you grab your phone? They Let's are show so dark. I tried <laughs> with my phone, and they were horrible, so dark. So I'm like, okay, I'll use the camera. They still looked horrible. Y'all can see. I mean, look at that. Look, one. it's on white. See that? Oh my God! With that, these two lights shining down, I mean they're bright, yeah. you know. Let me see. Show, um, show them all the photos. Look, isn't that crazy? Let me make sure there ain't nothing secretive in here. Oh, well, act like you have naked pictures <laughs> on your phone or something. Yeah, look at them. <laughs> look, that looks terrible. Okay, so and then you can't brighten them up because with silver it just like really blows it out, right? right? Yeah. So then I did the black, and I used the camera. And it looks so much better. Yeah, look, check it out. Look, compare the, what you just saw yeah, to this. That's the listing. That looks great. That looks terrific now. And I'm very proud of <laughs> my packing job I did on them. You should be. Look at this. Oh, you're pre pack anyway. Yeah. I check this them, out. I took them like in sets of six because the service for 12, and I shrink wrapped, not shrink wrap, what's that stuff called? Uh, uh, cling wrap stuff i don't know yeah, yeah. cling wrap maybe yeah. uh, i i did them together where they're tight where they can't move around and then i put them on this bag and then i taped it where it's just look yeah it's a, shake it. it's a solid mass it is yeah so now they're not clanking around and right. whenever i go to pack that's going to be um ground advantage cubic so yeah. I, I told candace just to put like a flat i usually don't like flat shipping but with this I know like a 12, 10, 4 box with up to like 20 pounds, I can ship anywhere for $12 or less. These are heavy. They're like, it's like five and a half pounds. Right. That's why he's saying uh, cubic because, uh, yeah. I just don't want eBay to show somebody like a $25 shipping price and scare them off. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So right. super happy that I finally got that done. Yeah. I can't believe how neat that is. I know. Because that's how many pieces of, of stuff there? 71. And, it, and look, it's one <laughs> one piece one of... Mass. One mass. of uh, steel. Yep. Or whatever that is. It's steel covered in silver, yeah. So, yeah, we're uh, we're not very... We're, we're usually a little more productive, but today we're not, and that's okay. We're it's kind of okay. like the little eBay boy. We got our <laughs> hood over our head. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's true. And what, what's he say? What's, it, what's that kid say? Ah. Uh, Looked everywhere. We, we looked everywhere yeah. <laughs> and i think it's funny like like why like why does ebay put that thing up there yeah why do they put that up there because like, they're they're trashing themselves yeah like oh, i don't see anything how is that that's not funny yeah that's not that makes them look incompetent it's like haha we're incompetent isn't that funny haha mm -hmm. but yeah we're um 
it's it's Friday. Probably and not going to sales tomorrow. We're not going to garage sales. Lying. We're not going to garage sales tomorrow. We're probably going to hit estate sales Sunday. But as of right now, we're done. Yeah. So I hope y'all have a very good weekend. And we will see y'all again very soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, y'all. Bye.